Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we are going to be talking about hearing and the ear. So what are the functions of the three main regions of the ear? The outer ear gathers and focuses sound into the middle ear, which receives and amplifies the vibration. The inner ear causes and uses nerve endings to sense vibrations and send signals to the brain. So we have here the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. So your ear is a complex system that consists of three main regions, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear, as you can see here in the diagram. So the outer ear, the part of the ear you can see funnels sound waves down the ear canal, a tunnel about 2.5 centimeter long. Sound waves strike the eardrum, a tightly stretched membrane between the outer and middle ear. The eardrum vibrates at the same frequency as the sound waves striking it. So, then we have the middle ear. The middle ear contains three tiny bones, the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. The three bones act as a lever system to amplify the motion of the eardrum. When the eardrum vibrates, the hammer vibrates at the same frequency. The hammer strikes the anvil and the anvil moves the stirrup back and forth. Then we have the inner ear. The inner ear, we have the vibrations from the stirrup travel into the cochlea, spiral-shaped canal filled with fluid. Inside of the cochlea is lined with thousands of nerve cells with tiny hair-like projections. As the fluid in the cochlea vibrates, the projections sway back and forth and send electrical impulses to the brain. So, how sound is recorded? Sound is recorded by converting sound waves into electronic signal that can be processed and stored. Sound is reproduced by converting electronic signals back into sound waves. So, for example, when a singer sings into a microphone, sound waves from the singer's voice vibrate a membrane inside the microphone. The membrane causes a magnet to vibrate. These vibration produces an electronic signal in the microphone wires. The energy of sound waves has been converted into an electronic signal that can be processed and stored. So, in a speaker, an electronic signal causes a magnet to vibrate. The magnet is attached to a membrane and the vibrating membrane sends sound waves through the air. So this is about what we are going to be covering during this week, which basically focuses on sound and hearing. See you all this week.